this room is all about control. Control of the things in a conference room like this that we need to control and the ways that we can control different devices. Now, first thing to notice, we have two different rooms in here, room A and room B. So we have two different little small project rooms that could be combined or separated by a large air wall, a big accordion kind of wall we split up to make two different rooms. Right now, they are in a combined state. We are running Zoom rooms in here on our Logitech Tap controller. I'm gonna start a session. You can see that we've got a meeting going on using our NC110 cameras down beneath the displays. We've also got a couple of steerable PTZ cameras up in the sky. I can deliver any of those cameras and the audio in this room to the Zoom app using USB bridging. And then here in the app controller, I can come on and make some changes on the camera. And look at that, I can do the rest of my presentation just like this, hello. So uh, driving the cameras to, to Zoom is not that much of a flex for us. Obviously we can control our own cameras because we manufacture these cameras. But there's a lot of things in this room we don't manufacture. We don't manufacture these LEDs on the floor. We don't manufacture the lighting controller up in the sky or the shades that go run that engine over there, right? And if someone walks into this room, I don't want them running over here just to find the shade controller. And then meanwhile, the lighting guy installed his design over on this wall and the HVAC's over on the other wall over here. That's a lot of running around. I wanna make sure that someone can control everything in the room from one pane of glass and preferably the same pane of glass that they're always using to use the conference app. So I can come in here, find the room controls for this particular room, hit X, and we'll, let's move the shades up. With a single tap, I can send a command over to them. We'll let the sunlight in, and we'll get the good breezy convention center area in here. Now, that's control. We gotta be able to control third-party devices in the way that they are controlled. Like, some devices might want serial commands, GPIO, uh, TCP or UDP. Uh, we might be writing complicated Lua scripting to go back and forth with third-party devices. Now, a lot of the times, we work with manufacturers to build plugins for their devices. And plugins are little software widgets that get installed into QSYS so that we can control their devices as if it were a native QSYS device. Very easy. No, no code or low code options there. Uh, however, control is just pure function, and I prefer my rooms to have a little bit of art to them, and for art to be there, we need some automation. So think about muting this room. I'm gonna back it up here on the Zoom and mute it. Call muted. Great, it's muted. We've all lived in conference rooms. We know how to mute a call. But when we muted this room, we also played an announcement up in the sky that you heard, right? We're changing the screen up on the, on the display so we all know we're in a mute state. Uh, the cameras up in the air have turned around and looked at the wall. So anyone who's in here knows instinctively that they are in video mute because you don't have to wonder, hey, is that camera still looking at me or not? Because clearly it isn't. That's the kind of subtle changes in the room that we can make and automate to give the room a more natural and intuitive experience. Same is true with our air wall. So we didn't ship a whole air wall out here. I'm using one one hundredth of an air wall. Uh, I'm gonna grab this and close the rooms and divide them, and QSYS will know about it. Air wall closed. Reconfiguring rooms. Now, there's no real magic going on here. There's just a magnetic contact closure on the wall, sends a wire up to QSYS, gives it a one or a zero, right? But that one and zero requires a lot of weight. We gotta do all kinds of things. I gotta make sure this camera over here is no longer routable to that Zoom session. I gotta make sure that this microphone is no longer mixing the audio of the people in this room over here to the people on their far end. You can see we're in a different Zoom session entirely. If I'm changing the lights on this side, I don't want the lights to change over there. So I gotta reroute the audio, the video, and the control based on the information of the room. Now that's actually really easy to do on the QSYS side. But if we left that to the hands of a user, they are going to mess it up because humans, they like to mess things up, let's face it. So we gotta take that off of their plates. We can automate the room. The room knows what state it's in and it does the work. Air wall open. Rooms one and two have been combined. Thank you, Haley. That is the magic experience we want for the users. We wanna make sure that they don't have to come in and configure the room. It's just already in the state they want it to be in and it works intuitively. That's what we wanna give them and that's what they deserve, right? All right. Thank you. You're on to room three where we'll talk about lecture spaces. <laughs>